Before participating in this exercise video, please look up, down, side to side, and make sure you have a safe, small space without any objects you may bump into while moving. Hello and welcome to Active Parramatta Online, brought to you by the City of Parramatta Council. I am Will. And I am Michael. And we are Active Empowerment. We are bringing to you a 10 week series of active movement videos for four to eight year olds. So grab your water bottle and let's get into it. Okay everyone, it's time to play a game of Rob the Nest. So everyone, go grab yourself a, a 10 small object. I'm using socks. Pause the video now if you need to go get them. Okay, great. Have you got your objects or socks? All right. So it's a, if you have big space, then great. If not, that's also fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Rob the Nest. So what you have to do in this game is you pick up one object at a time, you run all the way to the end, and you place them in the other basket. These are eggs, you're stealing the eggs. So you then wanna place them in the other basket and you're gonna run all the way back. No throwing, just placing, placing the object. You run all the way back, get another one, Pick it up and run. No throwing. Remember, place it. Alright, we're going to do a practice round now. So bring all your eggs back, put them in one pile, and picture where is your other nest. So it might be here, might be there, or there. Alright, you ready? We practice round. Remember, one at a time. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. How many are you up to? Three. Four. Are you up to five? Six. Keep going. Five. Six. Keep going, keep going. Seven, one at a time. Keep going, keep going. Hey, are you done? Keep going, come on. Go, 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 go. Nine. Last one. Ten. Did I beat you or did you beat me? All right. Now, it's time for the real deal. Let's pick all your eggs up or socks or whatever you have. Pick them up in a pile and let's put them back. Place them down. All right. This is a race. So you want to go as fast as you can. We're going to do the exact same thing. You pick one up, only one at a time, and you place it down in the other nest. Remember, no throwing, you can only place it. Bend over. You want to bend over when you want to place it. All right, are you ready? Grab one of the eggs. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. As fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Count while you put them down, so two, Three. Four. Remember to have place them down. No throwing. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Two more. Nine. Are you done? Keep going, keep going. Last one. How'd you go? Did you beat me? No? Or yes? Alright, you ready for our last round? Let's see if you can go even faster. Can you do that? Can you go faster? Alright, bring all your eggs or socks, whatever you may have, and bring it back into the pile. Alright, we're going to do it again, but you can go much faster, as fast as you can. Now I swing up and down, up and down. Remember, to only place the eggs down. So pick, pick one up. You ready? Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five. Six. Keep going. Seven. Come on, go, 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 go. Can you beat me? Eight. Go, 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 go. Fast as you can. Nine. Keep going. Last one. Fast as you can. Ten. Well done. How fast?
fast did you go? All right, everyone, well done. Now we're gonna get a drink. Now put your water bottles down and we're gonna do some breathing. Big breathing through your nose and out your mouth. Let's see if you can hold it for three seconds. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. One more. Well done, everyone. Oh, you're back. I'm still practicing from last week's challenge. I haven't moved all week, I've been in this position. How did you go with the challenge? Could you get to five minutes? Are you a champion? Whoa, very good, new world record. Do you think you could hold it for a week as well? Anyway, keep practicing that challenge. All right, is everyone ready for this week's challenge? I'm gonna show you quickly, and then I'll explain what you need to do. Okay, so that's the movement. So what you need to do, you need to get down onto the ground, onto all fours, so down here, knees on the ground, hands on the ground, and we're going to raise our arm up and down nice and slowly. Now, the trick is moving your arm and your opposite leg at the same time. So moving them in nice and slow, and then back out again, good, and back in, good, and then the other side, arm out, leg out, very good, and back in nice and slowly, very good, and out again, and in again, very good. Now, that seems really easy, moving your opposite arm and your opposite leg at the same time, making sure you do both sides, but the actual challenge for this week is to be able to do this but also keeping your bodies nice and steady. No wobbling around. So we need to be steady like concrete, steady like statues, and the only things moving are your arms and your legs. So practice this week, try and be steady as possible, and then let me let me know in next week's video how stable you were. Could you be nice and still or did you have some wobbles while you were doing it? Good luck everyone. All right everyone, it's time to do some gymnastics. For our first activity, we're gonna hop down on our knees. These are called bunny hops. So hop down on your knees, two knees on the ground. You're gonna get your two front hands and you're gonna put them on the ground. You're gonna lift what, and you can lift your, you put your left leg on both legs on the ground on your tippy toes lift your left leg up and your right leg on the ground and you're going to jump off up and down you're going to kick up and down like this kick kick you've done a few on the, on your right leg you can then do hop onto your left leg and you're going to kick with that with your right leg instead so you're going to go on your left leg and you're going to kick up with your right leg like this Well done. All right.
right everyone, now we're going to practice our landing. So let's all hop on a motorbike and we're going to squat down a bit. Make sure your feet are facing forward so they're straight. You're going to hold the handlebars and you're going to bend. This is how you're going to land when jumping. So you, you want to pretend you're on a motorbike. Boom, boom. So you squat, your legs are like that. Your feet are facing forward and you're holding the handlebars. Hands out in front. All right, let's practice. So this is what it'll look like from the side. Feet forward, sitting down, holding your handlebars. All right, we're gonna practice jumping and then landing in that position. So if you wanna go back a bit, and then you're gonna jump forward and land in that position. All right, you're on your motorbike. Step back, jump onto your motorbike. So onto your motorbike, like that. All right. We'll do a few of those. You're doing great. Just a few more. Jump, and then land on your motorbike. Last one. All right. Let's all lie down on the ground. And we're gonna, on our stomach first, we're gonna do some rolly follies. So arms by your side. And you're gonna put your head down. Make sure you're flat. And you're gonna start by rolling to your left. So you roll over, keep going, keep going, legs straight, keep going. Now we're going to go back the way we came. You go, roll, good job, you might start to turn a little bit, but that's okay, just fix yourself up at each end. Alright, let's go. And roll back the other way. Keep going. For these last two, we're going to put our hands out straight and we're going to roll. So hands out in front of you, just like this, and then we're going to roll. And you want to be a pencil. All right, go. Pencil. We're going to do some back arch positions or known as the scary cat position. So we're all going to hop down on the ground on our knees and our hands. I'm going to go on the side so I can show you. And you're going to go back down. You want to make your back curve downwards. And when I say scary cat, you go up. So dog, you want to be a dog. And then scary cat, dog, scary cat. All right, keep going. Scary cat, dog, scary cat, keep going. Keep going, you're doing great. One more. All right. Next, we're gonna do some cradle, cradle rolls. So we all hop on our back, 
on our back and we're going to bring our legs up and you're going to hold with your two hands together or you can just hold both your legs you want to go you want to go like this and you want to start rolling you know, when your feet touch that's when you go back down up touch roll make sure you keep your back your head as close as you can to your legs so let's go chin in on your chest like this you want it to be touching as close as you can you want to be a ball Next, we're going to do some forward rolls. Pause this video now and go get an adult to help you. Okay, great. If you don't have a soft surface, maybe sit out and watch this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop down onto our knees. We're going to put our chin on our chest. Make sure you're doing this on a soft surface, all right? Make sure your arrow is nearby helping you. You're gonna tuck yourself like a ball. You're gonna put your head on the ground. If you would like, you can put your hands on the ground to help propel yourself forward. But otherwise, you can use your legs to push yourself. So you can have your hands on the ground, and then you're gonna roll. So just make sure that your chin is touching and your head or your face is right there on your legs. So you wanna tuck or you can put your hands out. And then you're going to push forward like this. You want to get in the motion and then like that. All right? You can go back now and do it, do it again. All right. Remember, tuck as tight as you can. You want to be like a little ball and then you're going to roll it. Do a tuck and roll. You can do that a few times. Make sure someone's there helping you. All right, tuck, push, and roll. All right, keep going, keep going. Tuck, roll. You might go to the side a bit, but that's okay. Just remember to get back up. Make sure your parents are there helping you. One more. Good job, everyone. Well done. All right, everyone. Well done. Now we're going to get a drink. Now put your water bottles down and we're going to do some breathing. Big breathing through your nose and out your mouth. Let's see if you can hold it for three seconds. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. One more. Well done, everyone. Alright everyone, for us, we're going to do sports now. For our first sport activity, we're going to do golf. So you want to turn and face this way, how I am. You want to have your feet in line with your shoulders. And then you want to pick up your golf stick, pick it up, you want to hold it next to you. Now you want to get your golf ball out of your pocket. You want to just place it on the ground. There you go. You want to hold the golf stick just behind the ball. You've got to lift the golf stick up, slowly bring it back down, make sure it's in line with the ball, bring it up, get ready to hit, 
and boom, big hit as far as you can. All right, we're going to do that a few times, okay? So you want to line the ball up, put it down, and then we're going to get our stick, and we're going to go back, hit, bang, whoa, how far is that? All right, we're going to go put our stick back down again, ball's there, up, hit. That was really far, whoa. All right, I'll fall down, stick in line, up, make sure your hand is touching your shoulder, and then boom, big hit. Go fall down, go stick in line, big hit, and boom, go. All right, go stick in line, bring it up on your shoulder, boom as you can. Wow, you can see it. All right, let's get the golf stick in line. Up and boom. Go fall down, go stick, up, boom. All right, we're going to do one more. All right, here we go. Go stick in line, bring it up on your shoulder and boom. Well done, everyone. All right, so now at a bowling alley and we're going to do some bowling so with the bowling ball we're going to pick it up with our three fingers up and then there's a big bowling lane and you pretend there's 10 pins in front of you you're going to get your ball and you're going to bring it back one foot in front and you're going to throw it along the bowling lane and you want to see are you going to hit the pins oh oh, oh, oh well done you hit all the pins we're going to do that a few times. So pick up the ball, bring it back, and as hard as you can. Oh, well done. All right, pick up the ball, back. Oh, that's great. Pick up the ball, and do that a few more times. Well done. Wow. Bring it back, and then, wow, wow, it's almost coming to me. Pick it up, bring it back, one foot forward, and, all right, pick the ball up one more, come on, do one more, and, all right, now, we're going to do some baseball. So, the ball is being thrown at you, and you're going to have this, your baseball bat up on your shoulder, a bit like golf, but with a baseball bat. You're gonna have it on your shoulder, the ball gets thrown at you, pretend there's a ball coming at you, and boom! You wanna hit the ball with your bat. You wanna send it all the way over there. All right, you wanna do that again? Baseball bat, the ball's coming on your shoulder, and boom! When you hit it, you wanna step forward a few times. You wanna step forward once. The ball's coming on your shoulder, and step forward and bang! On your shoulder, step forward and bang. On your shoulder, step forward and bang. On your shoulder, step forward and hit. All right, put it on your shoulder. This is gonna be a big one. Step forward and boom. All right, guys, last one. Can you make it as big as you can? You wanna send it into space. All right, baseball bat on your shoulder. Get ready. Three, two, one, here comes the ball and boom! Wow, that's gone really far. All right, now we're gonna do some swimming. And the stroke we're gonna do is backstroke. So for those of you who don't know what backstroke is, it's where you rotate your arms backwards. One arm at each time, we're gonna do that. All right, so we're doing some backstroke, one arm at each time. The arm that you're not using, you put by your side and the other one goes by your side and go. Big circles. Big circles. Make sure you keep your arms straight and your fingers pointed. Alright? Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Wow, that's really big. Alright guys. Now, we've just, it's all turned into an ocean and there's a surfboard. We're, go, we're gonna do some surfing now. You're on your surfboard and you're lying down. Oh, here comes a wave. 
Go and do some freestyle paddling arms. Go, 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 and up, and surf. Oh, you're on the wave. Whoa, whoa. Up, the wave stop, back down. Lie down on your surfboard on your stomach, and you wanna do some freestyle arms. Go, go, go. Go, 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 as fast as you can. Oh, you're on the wave. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Up, back down, back down on your stomach. Freestyle arms, freestyle arms, freestyle arms on your surfboard. Oh, oh, the wave is really big. All right, on your stomach again. Let's go, let's go. Freestyle arms. The wave is coming, it's a big one. And up. Whoa, 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 that was gnarly, dude. Back down onto your stomach and swim, swim, swim. Whoa, it's like a monstrous wave. Up. Whoa. Well, let's hold it. Let's see if we can go side. Oh, whoa. Well done. Turn a bit. Oh. All right, we're going to do one more. And I can see a massive wave coming. All right, we're just waiting for the wave. Let's paddle around a little bit. Here comes the wave. Go, 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 go. Up. Whoa. Whoa. It's massive. And you're onto the sand. Well done, everyone. Oh, we're back onto a pitch, a cricket pitch. And we're the, we've got a ball in our hand. We're going to stand back. We're going to start roll, running forward and we're going to bowl of the cricket ball. So you want to bring, you want to hold the ball, and you want to bring the ball around, and then you're going to throw it. Come back, start running forward, around, and throw it. Back, or forward, around, and throw it. Forward, around, and throw it. With your other hand, you also want to bring that around. So you want to go around, and throw it. Let's go. Just a few more. Forward, around, and throw it. Forward, around, and throw it. Three more. Around, around, and throw it. Two more. You want to throw it to the guy at the end? Whoop. Last one. Well done. We're in the gym now. There's some weights there. Bend down, pick it up, ooh. Ah, ooh. then push it up, hold it, and then down, let it down. All right, so we're gonna pick it up, it's a big bar, you pull it up, here, push it up, and then put it down. And then you bend down, pull it up, all the way up, ooh. then down, up, down. Pull it, pick it up, push it up, and down, up, uh, boom, pick it up, how strong are you, can you hold a really heavy one, pretend it's really heavy, here we go, well done, a few more, well done, one more, this one's heavy, Well done, everyone. Great job exercising today, everyone. Remember, this week's challenge is getting down onto the ground and raising your opposite arm and opposite leg in and out, nice and steady. And the other side, in and out, in and out. And the challenge, keeping your body nice and nice and still, solid as a rock. Good luck, and I'll see everyone next week. Bye for now.